Hi, me again, and sometimes the news media really does do things in a weird way. And they wonder why people don't trust the, the news media as much as they used to. It's because of things like this. I'm not sure if they're trying to be deliberately clickbaity or deliberately disgusting. But it's, um, it's an odd story. And the problem is, when people see stories on newspapers, they don't always read the whole story, do they? So they see the headline, they think that's a fact, bang, move on, that's now a thing. And it's wrong, especially in this case. Have a look at this headline with me, look. Only Fools and Horses star Tessa Peake Jones dated son from show for almost three decades. So yeah, most people just read the headlines or the first top bit of a story and move on and that becomes fact. So Tessa Peake Jones was Raquel. And in the show, Only Fools and Horses, obviously, Raquel's son was Damien, who was a young child. So people see that and think, oh, that old bird dated that young child. That's a bit wrong, isn't it? Oh, it's... Oh, that's not right. Oh, I don't like that. And that becomes a fact. But you have to read all the way down the story. Have a look at this. It goes on for ages, look. Only Fools and Horses actress Tessa Peake Jones, who's 64, is beloved by fans for playing Raquel Turner on a BBC show from 88 to 2013. However, viewers of the hit sitcom may be surprised to know that the TV star had a long-term relationship with actor Douglas Hodge, who played her on-screen son for 29 years. You know, I read that deliberately wrong and didn't put the comma in at the end because that's how people see it, isn't it? Played her on-screen son for 29 years. They're thinking, dirty old girl. Oh, I used to like that Raquel. Now she's just a dirty old girl. It could affect her career and everything, right? But if you scroll down and you read the entire story, which I did, which I don't think many people do anymore, but I did because I couldn't believe what I was reading there. Have a look. Douglas, her husband, only made one appearance in a sitcom, and that was during a special in 1996. So she wasn't dating who was the young kid, Damien. There's a few different Damien's, and I think when you think Damien, you think like the 12-year-old one when she was in it, and, you know, the one where he went on the game show and everything on the telly, that kind of age Damien. And it's wrong, that's what people automatically think, but it's not. It was the adult actor who played Damien in the one where they, I think it was the one they made the money or something, wasn't it? Where is it? Uh, it was the one, it was Heroes and Villains. And do you remember at the beginning, Rodney was having a dream where they kind of ruled the world and Rodney was a gopher. And Damien was a fully grown man who's not far off the same age as Raquel was in the show. So, yeah, it's wrong, isn't it? It's wrong. And, you know, that just gets misinformation out there. And I don't agree with stuff like that. One, it's a completely useless article anyway. Why does it even exist? Is it just paper filler? Oh, I don't know. It's deliberately clickbaity, and, you know, that woman is now looking like some sex offender or something. Do you know what I mean? It's not right, and I wonder people don't trust the news media anymore. I think it's wrong. You know, I just wanted to bring that video to you quickly, because there's so much bad stuff in the news in a minute, and you just don't know what to trust and what not to trust, do you? And the deeper you dig, the more you find the truth, and they just bury it in there. They have revised this article since it was first put out. When I bookmarked this a couple of days ago, it was worse, but they have corrected some of it. But why is the article still up? Just get rid of the article. I just don't trust anything I see in the news anymore. I don't know what that says about me for the last few years, really. But I just wanted to talk about it because I just thought it was wrong and I don't understand the point of the article at all, really. What do you think about it? Do you trust stuff that you see in the papers and on the news or... Are you asking more questions than ever about the stuff that you read and see in the news? I know I am. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.